there. So it's week six of my directing course and I finished my class today. It was a very long day. We worked with a playwright who began as a journalist and was commissioned to write a piece and thus became a playwright. Um, he didn't really make it clear if he has directed pieces himself or not in his life, but he writes. He's, he's a playwright. So our class was on devising plays or theatre pieces. It was interesting. Um, it wasn't really about directing this week um, and we're all there, you know, as directors or want wannabe directors doing this directing course. All we kind of worked on was devising a piece of theatre and doing little exercises that could help devise something. I don't know, it was- I have mixed feelings about this week's class. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't exceptional or I didn't learn anything groundbreaking or life-changing really. It's stuff I have done already, you know, kind of trying to come up with a scenario or a little scene on the spot. What we did was we thought of fairy tales and how we could, say, modernize uh, a fairy tale or give it some kind of uh, social relevance nowadays. And my group did Little Red Riding Hood, we had to do a few free freeze frames, uh, come up with a new alternative story, then devise a little scene with some dialogue, that kind of thing. Which, it was fun, it was great, I was called Little Pink Riding Hood. And it was it was fun, it was great. I I did show myself that I could take initiative, that I do have creative ideas, original ideas, and that I can kind of bring a group back to how would you say? I could see that I could bring a group back to the point, <laughs> I guess. I can't I can't function today. I can't phrase that sentence properly, but, you know, we had a few people who would go off on tangents or kind of stray from the idea and start rambling on or thinking about other irrelevant thoughts or, you know, just expanding the story to such an extent that is not needed right now. I could see myself kind of controlling, not, not, not controlling, I could see myself trying to bring the people back and trying to reinforce listening to each other and not talking over each other. That was kind of a challenge today to see can I work with people who work very differently to me and people who have very different ideas to me and be patient and try not to speak over each other. I personally have a thing where I just, I dislike when people talk over each other. I don't like shouting and yelling. I like discussing and allowing everyone to have their own say. Like there's a difference between a discussion and a, I don't know, heated debate or even a, just a yelling match where you're just shouting things over each other and that's just not fully civil and I can't function like that. So I had to say something, I had to bring them back to the idea even though I was the youngest in the group. I could see myself coming up with original thoughts and ideas and that was kind of reassuring because that's my worry. As a director, you are the kind of captain of the ship, you know? I'm going to have to call, like, have the final call and have the final say on things. I'm going to have to listen to all the ideas and bring them together in my head and decide what is best and what my vision is. That sounds so cringy to say what my vision is. What my, I don't know, idea of the whole piece is. But it was nice, it was just so, in such a simple exercise that I could see myself, I don't know, controlling anger or anything like that. I didn't experience anger, it was just the need to kind of have a civil discussion or debate and not to yell over each other and stick to the point. Even though I think of, I am someone who is kind of scatterbrained and I have so many thoughts happening at the same time, despite that and despite knowing I'm that kind of person, I could see that today I was very sticking to the point, doing what I had to do because that was the assignment, you know, keeping everyone on track. That was nice to see because that is something I don't see myself do very often. I really need to work on time management. That is, I I don't even know what time is. I 
have struggled my entire life with time management and being on time and planning things and that's why I despise schedules and and you know and you had to come up with like a study schedule in school and that was just nightmare fuel I can't just no mm -mm. so when you know when I think of those kind of things like organizational skills in that sense like time management and you know being very precise I'm not very good at that but I think when it it's in the right environment and the situation calls for it. I'm very professional and I can do stuff and, you know, have a plan or come up with a plan. And that was nice to see me do today because I worry about taking initiative and being the director of a group one day. That sounds terrifying to me. I don't like the idea of people looking up to me entirely. Hence the whole, I want my team or company or whatever it will be in the future to be very very collaborative and to have a kind of I don't know I guess to have a hierarchy in the sense that you know I am the director of this company or you know whatever manager of the theater you know in my dreams <laughs> in the future I like the idea of having a hierarchy that you know I am the the director and yes I kind of am slightly at the top of this hierarchy but in the sense that people are feel free to approach me, to tell me their ideas, but not to walk all over me. That's the challenge, I think. So yeah, that was nice to see in all the challenges or no exercises that we did. I kind of I had ideas constantly coming out of me. That was nice. And I was happy to see that happening, all these little things popping into my head, all these little seeds. And when everyone else was kind of stuck or the idea seemed kind of lifeless or stale, you know, to, to be able to kind of spice, spruce it up or spice it up a little bit or change it around a little bit. Like, you know, hey guys, how about we do this? Or do you know what? We can take this this way. And apart from that, that was kind of all we did. We worked on, yeah, like kind of coming up with little scenes and devising things based on like an extract from a story or on the fairy tale, like Little Red Riding Hood. And yeah, not Nothing, you know, major happened today, apart from that kind of realization of, oh, that's nice to see, I do have ideas and I can take initiative. That's good, good for you, gold star for you. So yeah, I know I will definitely be devising things in the future because there are so many songs that I listen to and have this like entire story or backstory of a character or a situation or an image that is so strong that I want to write something or mold it into something bigger than a song or than a poem or a short story or book you read and you just think this this needs to be put on stage or you know filmed just made more of a thing and to encourage more people to see this and know about this I will definitely be devising and adapting things in the future. It's just a matter of finding out things about how it's done regarding rights and things like that. The legal stuff, you know? The legal stuff that I have no idea about right now. And yeah, it was a, it was a calm class. I see myself feeling very um, at ease most of the time. Like, getting up and doing an exercise isn't such a big deal now and the people are so nice and you know people complimented my hair today <laughs> that was nice and yeah just doing things calmly because i like doing them and to kind of just getting up and i guess i'm feeling comfortable in my skin and seeing that maybe this isn't as scary and intense as i thought it was or was or as it was going to be. Sure, it all takes time, doesn't it? Everything is terrifying at first and you experience you experience your imposter syndrome and anxiety and whatever else. And then in the end, after you do things a few times, it's just, it's just what it is and you just do them and you feel comfortable in your skin and it's not a big deal anymore. That's a comforting thing about life, you know? 
you do a few something, you do something more than once and all of a sudden it's not terrifying anymore. So yeah, that's week six. I don't have anything, any major revelations or anything. I have not thought about my own project yet because I don't want to stress about that this week. So I'm going to go back to reading the play this coming week and hoping to make more videos that aren't theatre, drama, that aren't directing class related and trying to be creative and calm. That's the biggest challenge, being calm. So yeah, I think that's it for week six. Like I said, no major revelations and everything's all all calm and fine for now. <laughs> Thank you for watching me ramble on for six weeks. I really appreciate it and I'll see you for Video Diary 7. Mm.